item six, we'll move to 6A, is a rezoning case, REZ 2014-15. Mr. Davenport. Yes, sir, thank you. This particular case is involving about 90 acres bordered by South Patterson Street or South 41 and Inner Perimeter and Copeland Road. Ultimately, the rezoning that was approved on it back in 2005 was approved for R10 zoning with one condition that basically stated there would not be septic tanks allowed. Since that time, the property has changed hands from the original developer, and the request before you is a request to remove that condition to basically just be R10 with the allowance for septic tanks. So from R10 with a condition to R10 without a condition. It's gone through staff and the planning commission. You have those reports before you. And I do believe the developer is here tonight um, to provide additional details should the commission have additional questions about that. Other than that, we have no updates since yesterday, and we believe it's ready for your consideration. Do we have any questions for Mr. Devin? I have one quick question, uh, Mr. Chairman. Um, I was told by uh, one of the residents in the area that there used to be a dump site over there. Is, is that true? I don't know. Like a landfill, like you dump concrete over it. I want to say on that uh, uh, west west corner of the intersection. Mm -hmm. Sir, I don't. I'm not sure. I've not heard that. That's the first time I've I've heard that. We could investigate that, but it would just take a little time. Okay. I just I just was told that, and I was wondering. Yes, sir. Okay. All right. We'll now move to the public participation portion of it. Is there anyone in the audience who would like to speak in favor of this request? Please come forward and state your name and address, please. Uh, Giovanni Panizzi, 5655 Cypress Lake Trails, Lake Park, 31636. Um, in response to your question, there's no dumps, at least to my knowledge. Um, I've looked around, and if there is, they did a good job hiding it. Um, the reason I'm requesting this variance is that uh, I've tried to get uh, sewage. I would prefer to have sewage and central water because obviously I'd get more units. Uh, the trouble is that uh, the county at this time does not have any and uh, has no plans to put anything there. Um, I've talked to the city and the city is happy for me to connect to them. The only problem is they want me to join the city in the sense that at the moment, that property is not adjacent to any city property. So I could not join the city at this time. I'd have to just sit there, and if any of my neighbors, you know, join the city, then at that time, the residents in that place would have to join the city. So if I was selling somebody a house, and they lived in that house, and they had children going to county schools, and then five years, six years down the road, whatever, uh, say dash a nursery for argument sake, uh, decided that they wanted to join the city, I would, all the people in that subdivision would automatically have to go to city schools next year. And that makes it impossible to really do anything because uh, I can't in good conscience sell somebody a house and tell them their children are going to county school for how many years, I have no idea, and then all of a sudden they have to go to city schools. Um, I mean, who wants to be in that position? So, uh, you know, I, I request that uh, you allow me to put in septic tanks if, uh, if the county is not in a position to give us some sewage. Any questions for the speaker? Okay. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Pardee. Is there anyone in the audience that would like to speak in opposition to this request? Please come forward and state your name and address, please. My name is Gretchen Quarterman, and I live at 6565 Quarterman Road. Um, I have a question. My question is a concern about the well. Where will these people get their water from? If this is going to be a community well where the county takes the trust indenture, uh, the responsibility for the failure of the well, and the well fails, and the investor abandons the well, and then the county is responsible for the maintenance and upkeep of the well. That puts either um, burdens on our SPLOS money to repair it the way we're repairing the uh, Alapaha well or um, on, on the taxpayers in, in, their t in the digest if we use it from the general fund. 
So I'm concerned about where will they get their water from. I'm not so concerned about the septic, but where will the water come from? Will it be a community well? And will the county bear the burden of the trust indenture? Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Davenport. Um, the preliminary plans we have from the last subdivision don't show a well site because they wanted, they were anticipating water and sewer. I would anticipate that this developer has indicated that he would install a well. I don't know the specific locations, but based on precedent from the utilities department, I would anticipate they would use the trust indenture form. Any other questions? Uh, is there anyone else in the audience that would like to speak in opposition to this request? <coughs> All right, hearing none, we'll now close the public participation portion of it and turn it back over to the commissioners for discussion. If there's no discussion, I'll entertain a motion. Is the Chairman now up a motion that we approve the zoning as presented? Do we have a we have a motion to approve the request? Do we have a second? Second. We have a second. Any discussion? Hearing none, we'll call the vote. All in favor signify by aye. Aye. Any opposed, like sign. Hearing none, the motion carries. Okay, we'll move on to agenda.